Hi, this is the first video in a tutorial series I'm going to do um, using the software Blender. I'm going to be making a very simple helicopter in this software. We start off with the default scene which we can just erase right off the bat. I'm going to be working from a background image and that image could be loaded up by going into view background image. I've already loaded the image up in an attempt to save a little bit of time. This is my helicopter. It's a very basic drawing of a helicopter. I have this side view as well. I have a top view images. I'll start off by adding a cylinder. I'm going to work from a cylinder as being the most appropriate shape I figure. I'm going to give it 12 vertices because I'm shooting for a low poly count, a radius of 3, and a depth of 20. I'll also turn off the cap ends. We won't need those. So there's our cylinder. I'll tab into edit mode, Z key into wireframe, and rotate the cylinder by 90 degrees. I'm using the control button to snap my rotation to round numbers and get a perfect 90 degrees. I'll shut off the 3D manipulator to get that out of the way. So there's our cylinder. It's pretty much a perfect size for this project. Now what we're going to do is add vertical lines. What the vertical lines are going to be for is to be able to profile the edges of the cylinder to match the edges of the helicopter. I'll use the loop subdivide tool, control R, to add these vertical lines. Along the way I'll try to consider some of the internal details of the helicopter as well, like these tail wings here. I'll need some vertices on those to be able to extrude them later in the process. Because I'm going for a low poly couch, I'm going to try to minimize how many lines I place in here and just put them in what I figure are the key locations where I'll need them to round and shape for the profile. And I think that should pretty much do it. Now I'll use the box select tool to highlight these vertical lines of vertices. I'm going to use resizing and grabbing to form the basic shape or profile of the helicopter and I'll be doing all of my changes by limiting to the Z axis axes. That way I'll have all of the width still retained and usable for the top profile. So I'll press S and Z and grab and Z and form these until they meet up with the basic outer edges of the helicopter. I won't be going for anything overly technical here. Just looking for a, a, a basic but decent enough outline. But I don't have to get too particular, as you can see by my image, even the profile lines that I'm following are big thick lines, so it should be more or less clear that that there's no amount of perfection necessary in this. The actual profiling for the side and top view is a little bit dry stuff and also pretty time consuming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away from the video and I'll complete the profiling. Just give a few examples so that you can tell exactly what I'm up to here. And I'll do most of the profiling behind the scenes and return to the video with that completed. So I'll just finish this one last line here. And when I return, I will have the profiling for the side completed. And I'll also do most of the top, but I'll leave some of it in order to demonstrate it. So I'll return with that done and what will be only a moment. Okay, we're just a few minutes later on in the project here. 
I've loaded in the top view, completed the profiling of the side view, as well as a good portion of the profiling for the top view. Now I'll finish off the top view part of the profile. I'm still using the same technique, box selecting the lines, sizing. This time my axes, which I limit to, is the Y axis. And so sizing for the top is a lot more simple. It's really just bringing it in to conform to the outline because the top view is far more concentric. It's quite a bit faster going. So we'll just finish up these last couple lines here. Even looking at my image, it's easy to tell that it is not a completely geometrically correct image. I have offset in it and I'm just eyeing out these offsets and trying to use just a little bit of judgment to compensate for, for the image. It's by no means a perfect image. But it'll do for this for this little project just fine. So that has the top view profiled. Overall it took maybe 15 minutes to do the entire process up until now. We'll have a quick look at what we've got so far. Which is a pretty basic helicopter shape. And we're having a fairly low vertices count. We're only at 144 for this. And I don't know, I'm imagining that I don't have all that much time left here. Um, so I think that I'll close up this video and start working on the second installment in which we'll deal with this open nose cone here and add a nice round sphere to replace that and perhaps extrude the tail fins and maybe get some of the of the tail done as well close it up and we'll just see what we can get done in in the 10 minute time frame it's not a lot of time and this project's going to take three to five videos at least I'm imagining especially if we carry on into a little demonstration of the game engine and actually getting this helicopter to fly I do actually have a file with a flying version of this helicopter which uses a combination of the mouse and keypad for its controls it's actually kind of neat um, I'm quite a ways from being able to build a game I not I'm relatively a newbie at this particular software so I'll just be working with it as I go and see how far we can take this project.